Hey guys, this is the top 5 PS Vita games. This is my opinion, so if you have a different opinion, please do not dislike this video because it's a different, I have a different opinion than yours. But make sure to put your opinion of the top 5 in the comments, make sure to like and subscribe. So, at number 5 we have Assassin's Creed 3 Liberations. And Assassin's Creed 3, I think Liberations is another Assassin's Creed game, so if you're familiar with Assassin's Creed and the storyline to it and the game structure of it, then you'll be very familiar with the game and what you expect. So this is part of the single player gameplay. There is a multiplayer with it, but the multiplayer is very disappointing and not much to it. So yeah, it's number five because of the single player and the multiplayer is awful, I must say. It's very disappointing by Ubisoft, by the multiplayer. It's, it's not even a walk around, just touching buttons. So number four, we have Uncharted Golden Abyss. I hope I've Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Is that a beast? I'm not sure, but Uncharted. Um, this game is this is just a uh, storyline to it. There's no um online or multiplayer that I'm aware of. Maybe there is, but confident that there isn't a multiplayer with it. But the storyline is excellent. If you want to know what the storyline to all of the games are, or if they have one, then I got it in the description. So if you want to have a read in the description, then that is fine. But yeah, there's there's it's a great adventure with this game. So you've like adventure games. This game is for you. This is much better than Assassin's Creed because it's it's got more levels and chapters in the game, and there's it's more um, interesting, you know. So at number three, we have Need for Speed Most Wanted. This is another familiar game made by EA. And if you don't know what Need for Speed is, it's just a racing game. You race rounds. There is an online mode to it. Which brings it to number three, but the uh, f the next couple, well, next two games, for me beats Need for Speed. But Need for Speed's got a great campaign mode and a online mode, so it's 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 packed with game action. Let's say you'll never get bored with it, and you always it's a game that you always play. You know. Um. So at number two we have Call of Duty, Declassified, Black Ops Declassified. And it has a game mode and the online mode. I reckon the online mode is much better. The online mode is just a normal Call of Duty online game. There's no um. Servers are fine. If you want to check any servers, just go ahead on YouTube and see a video on that. Servers are fine, but the uh, online mode, there's not much to it. It's just to get basically XP to shoot people, and you get XP for it. And the maps are not that big. There's not a great storyline to it. So that is quite disappointing, but Call of Duty games, it, it but you know it's not as bad as the other games, but they um they at least there's campaign modes, but they try to do something else with the campaign mode, but the online gameplay is just amazing, um probably the best one so far, but I think the online modes is not as good as number one, which is FIFA 13, and I think everybody knows what is FIFA 13. It's made by EA Sports. Have you heard of that? kind of soundtrack to it, EA Sports, to the game, I think we all know that, what well, that is, that is the game, FIFA, there's many FIFAs in history, like FIFA 10, FIFA 11, FIFA 12, FIFA 09, FIFA 10, whatever, um, there is FIFA Soccer, they're basically the same, I think this FIFA 13 updated it, I'm not sure if there's Ultimate Team, there is Ultimate Team, there's online, and that's what makes it so good, there's online modes, Career mode, kick off, just kick off mode, skill skill challenges, and so on. What expect everything that you expect in a FIFA game, or if you have a FIFA 13, it's all in a PS Vita, so that is awesome. So here's Arsenal, and it's a great way to finish off this video with a goal by Theo Walcott. So yeah, this was the top five PS Vita games. So make sure to subscribe and like and follow me on Twitter at Dan underscore Hughes ninety eight.